an explosive force of nature hard to imagine. Two days after Mount Kulut erupted, volcanic ash clouds are still forcing people to flee in panic. Mount Kulut is around one hour away from here, that direction. But everyone is already evacuating away from it because apparently a poisonous cloud of smoke is coming this direction. So everyone is moving out. Even the army is moving out and aid workers are all moving out of the area right now. The poisonous cloud turned out to be a rumor, showing how shocked people still are after Thursday's eruption. Stones and thick layers of volcanic dust have turned populated cities and villages in East Java into a moon-like landscape. So Minnie is lucky to still be alive. The roof of her house collapsed shortly after the eruption. When she heard the explosion, she started to run. I was sleeping with my grandchild when I woke up at around 11 p.m. Then there was this strange sound and a huge explosion. I had no idea what it was. It felt like things were falling on my roof. Sumini so and her brother Umar are the only ones still in the village together with their animals. Their families and neighbors are all in the evacuation centers. I was hiding under the table. I didn't go anywhere. My wife ran away with my sister and father. Umar and his sister have survived three eruptions of Mount Kulut in 1990, 2007 and this one. Historically, the volcano erupts once every 10 to 20 years. This time was the worst they have ever experienced. That was definitely the worst. The layer of ash was never this thick. This is very thick and there were lots of stones. So far, no rescue workers or government officials have come to their village to help. I'm still in shock. I can't eat anything. I can't stop thinking about what has happened to my house. The government has ordered the army to help victims of the eruptions to clean up and restore their houses. So far, they have not reached this village. Stepfasen, Al Jazeera, Malang, East Java.